Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Sunday, February 13th, 2022. This puzzle has a title. It's called Change of Heart. It also comes with a note. The note reads, the middle letter of the answer to each starred clue can be replaced by a different letter to form two new words across and down. Read the new letters in order for a bonus. Hmm, this puzzle's title is Change of Heart. I wonder if we have a Valentine's Day theme today. Let's find out. One across, bank offerings in brief. I think this should be CDs, maybe. Certificates of deposit. Brains of a tech startup. Okay, this is wordplay, so I guess this is not going to be about some kind of smart computer they're going to be working on. I think this is going to be about a person that's smart, that kind of brain. Um, maybe that could be the chief technology officer. I think a lot of tech startups have those. Um, I'm not actually sure if it's kosher that the word tech is in the clue and the first letter of the word technology is in the answer. Um, but I think that should be the right answer. Let's see, racket, that could be a din if we're talking about a loud noise. Noticeable, hmm, I'm not sure about that one. Piece played with four hands. Piece, are they talking about a musical piece? Is this going to be a piano duet or something? Hmm, I'm not sure. Opposite of endearing. Okay, this is our first theme answer. They've highlighted the rest of them for us too. Okay, so I guess the middle letter in this answer is going to be able to be replaced and give us a different word. Interesting, okay. So what is the opposite of endearing? Hmm, it's gonna be something that's kind of repulsing you, right? I'm not sure. Hmm, let's see if we can get the end of it by starting in this section here. Twists. Hmm, there's a lot of different words for twisting. I guess it could be a plot twist, maybe. Roused from a nap, could that be awoke? Neighbor of Nevada. Um, well, it's next to California. Hmm, I don't know if this is gonna be a C. Twists. Barely usable pencils. <laughs> um, I kind of want that to be stubs. I don't know. That wouldn't fit, that's too long. Hmm. Blank sandwich. There's a lot of different kinds of sandwiches. Like some roller coaster drops. I don't know, is it just steep? That would fit, right? Hmm, let's see if we can build off of this P. Ballerina's bend. I think that's called a plie, isn't it? All right. Some attacks on castles. That could be sieges, right? Nice, okay, so we have an I at the end here. That's unusual. Hmm. Maybe this is going to be nubs. Is that right? Twists. Hmm, what was this one again? Peace played with four hands. I'm not sure. <laughs> Let's see if we can get these here. Winter Eves Dropper. So this is not going to be about somebody that's eavesdropping. I think it has to be literally about something that would be dropping off of eaves. I would want that to be like ice, maybe. Is it not awoke? Hmm, I don't know. 12 year olds, e.g. Hmm, it's not tweens. I guess it could be tweens. It seems like awoke might not be right. Let's see if this is a T. That's enough about your sex life, an equivalent phrase. <laughs> I want this to be TMI, too much information. Okay, 
We want this to be a W. Pallid. Yeah, that could be Juan. That means you're very pale. Amy with two Grammys. I think there's an Amy man. And this is another theme answer, right? Communicating with. Hmm. In touch with, in contact with, in correspondence with. I think that's too long. Hmm. All right, well, let's take out awoke. I think that has to be wrong. Let's put in tweens. Does that help on these downs? Christianity's blank creed. I think there's something called the Nicene Creed, especially in Catholicism. Yeah. So this is looking like it's going to be ice. Roused from a nap. Is it woken? Is that a word? Woken? And then maybe this is wends. If you're wending through something, you're kind of taking twists and turns. Hmm. No, you know what? I think maybe it should be wines. And then this could be Idaho. That's a neighbor of Nevada, right? Excellent. Okay. Um. Hmm. This is looking so strange to me. Maybe it's going to end in a duet. Oh, is this a piano duet? Didn't we say that before? So it's not a CTO. Oh man, that's probably causing some trouble here. Piano duet. So what is this going to be instead? Brains. Oh man, we had it reversed. Yeah, the standard reading would be about somebody that's intelligent. But the wordplay answer is going to be about a mechanical brain. Man, we were so mixed up there. Okay, so this is going to be a CPU, Central Processing Unit. Oh man, okay, so this is going to be unlikable. And then this is going to be deli sandwich. Yes, that makes sense, okay. So we're going to be able to have a change of heart in the middle of this word here. Hmm, well, I kind of want this to be a Valentine's theme. So I wonder if we're going to have a Valentine hidden in our theme today. Maybe this is going to be unlivable and woven. Yeah, that seems like a pretty likely guess. That would mean we would want this next change of heart to be an A and then this one to be an L. Let's work on this one and see if our hypothesis is correct here. Noticeable. Okay, maybe that's salient. You could notice a salient difference. Yeah. Okay, and then this one was communicating with. Hmm. I'm still not sure what it should be. Some have combinations. Are they talking about locks, maybe? Combinations. I'm not sure. Some breads. Um, I guess it could be rise, maybe. That's just a guess, though. Plank targets? A plank is kind of an exercise, right? That works your abs? Yeah. English majors degrees? I think you would get a BA in English, right? So that could be BAs. Having three unequal sides? Is this talking about a triangle? What are those called? Man, I gotta really think back to my geometry class. I'm not sure if I remember, actually. Acceptance principle of improv comedy. That's yes and, right? You accept what your partner is trying to do and then you add to it. Yeah, okay. All right, so this is gonna be about a lot, kind of. I think this is going to be safes. Nice. And then this could be sales if this change of heart turns into an L, right? Um, hmm, you know what? I don't think it's going to start with the word in. I think this is going to be one big word. I think it's going to be interfacing with. Nice. And then what would that make this? If this was an L, interlacing. Yes, that is another word. Excellent. Okay. I think we're on the right track to receive a Valentine this Sunday. This is great. Okay, Good Witch in Oz. That's Glinda the Good Witch, right? Let's work up towards this next theme answer up here. Task for a crossword constructor. 
Is that going to be cluing? That's an important task, yeah. Losing roll at dice. Is that going to be crap? If you crap out, you lose, right? Tart sorbet flavor, that could be lime. Washed quickly, that could be rinsed. Bon blank, that could be bon ami. That's a good friend, right? Instrument used in a medical checkup. Hmm, a medical checkup. I'm not sure about that one. Could it be a pen light? Ooh, that actually seems pretty good. Freely expressive. Hmm, is it uninhibited? Let's see, we would want this to be an A. Uninhabited. <laughs> yeah, that's another good word. Very nice. Let's see if we can get the crossing change of heart here. Out of whack. Hmm. I'm not sure about that one. Let's get some more help with it. Dia de Blanc Muertos, Mexican holiday. It's Dia de los Muertos, right? Day of the Dead. App whose icon features a camera in slang. I think that could be Instagram, right? Insta in slang. Word with code or card. Honor code? Honor card? Is there an honor card? Hmm, I'm not sure if there is. Only trisyllabic rainbow color. <laughs> I guess that would be indigo. That's three syllables. It is starting to look like this is going to be honor. Honor card. I don't know if I've heard of that phrase before, honor card. Hmm. This is another theme answer, right? Yeah, let's come back to this. Out of whack. Okay, that could be a miss. And then if we have an A in here, it would be a mass. That's another word, okay. In itself. Hmm, I'm not sure. Kind of bed. Hmm, they're not talking about a flower bed, right? Vessel with a hatch informally. That could be a sub, a submarine. The teardrop of India. I bet they're talking about Sri Lanka here. It's kind of a little teardrop in the ocean off of India. Not exceeding. That could be up to. Dark Lady Hitmaker, 1974. I don't know if I'm familiar with this song. In itself. Hmm. I'm still not sure about this kind of bed. This could be a Murphy bed. That's the kind of bed that folds into the wall. That's what Eddie Valiant had in Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Hmm. Maybe this is going to be Cher. Yeah, you know what? I think I have heard this song, actually. And then it looks like in itself is going to be as such. That's a good answer. Blank Park, New York. That's Hyde Park, New York. That's where FDR grew up. Nice. Okay. Stories that may or may not be true. Yeah, that could be lore. Kind of legends. Okay. Like J alphabetically. Hmm. Alphabetically. It's kind of near the beginning, isn't it? Huh. I'm not sure. Oh, you know what? Maybe it could be 10th. <laughs> could be the 10th letter of the alphabet, right? Ferrari of automotive fame. Oh man, what is his first name? I want to say it's Ennio. Is that right? I'm only like 20% sure about that guess. Let's see if we can build off of it. Outmoded storage device. I would want this to be like a file cabinet or something. Witness. This is tricky. This could be a verb or a noun. Hmm. Equal prefix. Okay, this could be iso, like isotonic. We think this could be an R for honor, right? Contracting. Okay, that could be shrinking, getting smaller. And then what would this be? If this was a valentine, this would be an E, right? This could be shrieking. <laughs> and then this would be teeth. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. British exclamation. Could that be I say? That's very British. 
This can't be right. We have two eyes. What may connect parts of a school assignment? And this is wordplay, so this isn't going to be about an assignment you get in elementary school. Hmm. Is this going to be about a school of fish? Like we had on the Wednesday puzzle? Parts of a school assignment. Oh, you know what? Maybe it is an assignment you would get at school, but it's not about a paragraph of writing that would connect one section to another. It's about something that would literally connect the pages of an assignment together. I think it's going to be a staple. Man, that was tricky. Um, hmm. Let's take out Ennio. I think that has to be wrong. Yeah. One of three for German nouns, or one of four for those in Africa's Zande language. Well, I know German has three genders, so that could be a gender. Wow, so there's four genders in the Zande language? That's fascinating. I wonder what that fourth gender is. Dress in. Could that be Don? Don we now are gay apparel. Poke. Hmm, maybe that's just prod. Yeah. Up. Is this about being awake? Hmm, I'm not sure. I'm relieved, an equivalent phrase. Could that be few? It's a phrase of relief. Hmm, I'm not sure about up here. Cut off, that could be sever. We should be able to get these downs at this point. Oh, this is going to be a zip drive. Oh, this is Enzo, that's right. Oh man, okay, I have heard that name before. Witness, maybe this could be an onlooker. Nice, and then this is hike. Wow, so this is like hiking up a price or hiking up your pants, yeah. Nice, okay. Not so many, that could be fewer. You know what, let's go back a little bit and work on the left side of the puzzle. Who blank? Could that be who cares? I care. <laughs> okay. One may go off in the middle of the night. Ooh, um, is it a car alarm? That would be very unfortunate. Scientist whose name is associated with a number. This has to be Avogadro, right? Avogadro's number, yeah. Wine list selection, this has to be reds. Things people catch and then ride. Is that waves? That would be a surfer. Nickname in baseball and gossip columns. Is that A-Rod? Yeah, he pretty effectively made his way into both. Loses firmness, that could be sags, okay. Hot condiment, is that wasabi? You get that with your avocado rolls, yeah. French menu phrase, that could be a la, yes, in the style of. When nothing goes right. Hmm, is it just a bad day? I don't know. Watered artificially, that should be irrigated, right? All right, so if this is our Valentine, this should be N and then T, right? So this should be a T. Irritated, yes, that is another word. Went ballistic, that could be raged. And then that would make this rated. That's another word too, excellent. La Tauromachia artist. Um, I don't know this for sure, but based on the letters we have, I'm gonna guess that it's Goya. Sushi chef's eggs, oh yeah, that's gonna be row, okay. Italian bread that's no longer made. Oh, you know what, I think this is being very tricky. They're not talking about bread made from wheat here. I think this bread is going to be a slang term for money and they don't make Italian lira anymore, right? That's very clever, it's not even indicated. Super tricky. Okay, fifth sign. Are we talking about astrological signs? That could be Leo. Hmm. You know what? I think this is maybe scalene. I think I remember a scalene triangle. Nice, okay, that finally came back to me. 
smitten. Could that be in love? What a nice answer for our Valentine themed puzzle. We have two L's. Relative of an alpaca. Yeah, that's a llama. Two-year-old EG. I guess that would be an example of a tot. A little bit younger than our tween up here. Okay, like a tug-of-war rope. That would be taut. At least it would be during the tug-of-war. Heavy medieval weapons. I think that should be maces. Yeah. All right, so what is this going to be? This should be our next theme answer. And we should be able to swap out the middle letter for an N. And then that would make this manes. Yes, like lion's manes. Harsh language. Okay, yeah, that could be invective. What a fun word there. That is a great piece of fill. And then the change of heart is going to be inventive. Excellent. High school subject. And it's four letters? Hmm. Country with the most archaeological museums in the world. 110 plus. That has to be Greece. So I guess this is going to be Econ. Yeah, those both make sense. Okay. Actress Hepburn. That could be Audrey Hepburn. A Christmas Carol Cry. Is that going to be Ba? Ba Humbug from the Scrooge we had on the puzzle yesterday. Robot sound. I guess that could be a beep. This starts with RV. Some camping excursions. Oh, okay. Recreational vehicle trips, maybe? Let's see. Brand seen at speedways. Yeah, that could be STP. That's motor oil. Comply with a peace treaty, maybe. Is that going to be disarm? Nice. Uncle for whom an annual award is supposedly named. Is that Uncle Oscar? I think that makes sense. Easy there, an equivalent phrase. Um, it's not calmly, is it? I would want it to be calmed down. That's too long, though. Frank Robinson or Brooks Robinson of the Baseball Hall of Fame. Hmm, Frank Robinson. I'm not sure. Are they talking about the team that they played for? I guess Oriole would fit in here. I don't know that for sure. Good cheer. Hmm. Is that going to be Ole? You would hear that at a soccer stadium. Small particle. Hmm. A small particle. I'm not sure what this should be. Come off as. That could be seam. Let's see if we can get this next theme answer. The change of heart in the center here will become an I. Goes well with. That should be compliments, right? Wait a minute. Valentine. How could it switch to an I if it's already an I? Oh, wait a minute. Did I spell compliments wrong? I did. This should be an E. Yes, okay. And then it changes to an I. There we go. Small particle. Okay, that could be a fleck. And then this is going to be a flick when it has its change of heart. Excellent. Okay. Easy there. That could be cool it. Nice. All right. Dutch name starter. That could be Van, right? Like Van Gogh. Org that evaluates toothbrushes. Is that the American Dental Association? Literally revenge. Is it vengeance? No, that's too long. Could it be Vendetta? That would fit. Let's see if we can build off of that. Canine coat. Hmm. Like the fur on a dog? Hmm. I'm not sure about that one. Singer Blank Marie. I don't think I'm going to get this one either. Joins firmly. Firmly. Is this about joining two things together? Like welding? In the thick of. That could be a mid. Plan in detail. Ugh. I want more crossing help for that one. Let's come over here and see if we can work back towards this center section. 
binder inserts with tabs. Are those just going to be dividers? Yeah. Turn in a game. That could be a move. Yeah. Sat around could be idled. Starting point. Hmm. A starting point. I don't know. Puppy kisses. That could be licks. Service with a capital corridor route. I have a feeling that's Amtrak. Yeah. Crows? Could that be boasts? Excellent. 9-5 automaker once. So they're not around anymore. I have a feeling that's going to be Sob. Muppet who refers to himself in the third person. That is Elmo for sure. At last, Singer James is Etta James. So that gives us seed here for starting point. Yeah, that makes sense. Noisy disagreement. That should be an altercation, right? Nice. Okay, we have a rat for a ship pest. And then what is our change of heart here? This should be an N, right? Alternation. Very good. And then this could be links. That makes sense. Suffix with labyrinth. That could be labyrinthine if you're trying to say something is maze-like. And then what does that make this? Uh, I still don't know if I'm going to be able to get this. It looks totally unfamiliar. H plus or I minus. Are those going to be ions of hydrogen and iodine? Yeah, I think so. Promote aggressively. Could that be tout? Ones in hills or farms? That has to be ants. Plan in detail. Okay, maybe that could be map out. There we go. Joins firmly. That could be cements, like you could with glue or something. Oh my god, canine coat. This isn't talking about a dog. This is talking about a tooth. Another really tricky, unindicated wordplay clue here. Enamel. Wow, that is so good. And then this is going to be Tina Marie. Yeah, never heard of her. Okay. Czar known as the Great. Hey, this person showed up on yesterday's puzzle too. That is Peter the Great, but I guess they want Peter the First in this case. Yeah. Okay. Rot. Um, is this about the British term for nonsense? That kind of rot? I'm not sure. Almond Blank, Toffee Brand. I don't know if I know this one. Computer with a Pro model. That could be iMac. I think they make an iMac Pro. Let's see if we can work down from compliments here. Epoch when palm trees grew in Alaska. <laughs> oh my god. Um, I think there's an Eocene epoch, isn't there? I guess it would have been a lot warmer. In an obvious way. Hmm. Is it notably? I don't know. All time connector. So it needs to be a word that connects the two words all and time. That could be all the time. Yeah. Big blank. Could that be Big Sur in California? Maybe this is about Hawaii. Island with a trisyllabic name. Just like indigo up here. Very funny. Okay, so that's going to be Oahu, a much shorter trisyllabic word. Yeah, okay. Ending remark that's surprising. Is that going to be the kicker? All right, so maybe this is nakedly in an obvious way. Yeah. Once called. Once called. What are they talking about? I'm not sure what this clue is asking about. Ill-suited. Is that inapt? Knee? Maybe this is Eocene with an E. Yeah, I spelled it incorrectly. This is ne, the French word for born. That's what you put in front of your maiden name. There we go. That makes a lot more sense. Okay. And then this is going to be our last change of heart here. Yeah, it's going to be the E in our valentine. Ordered. Hmm... It should probably end in ED, right? Maybe it's commanded 
and then it could be commended for our change of heart. And then this would be inept, yeah. Excellent, okay, commanded. Rot. Hmm, what is this? It seems like I'm missing something obvious here. Yeah, it is, it's decay, there we go. Luxury vessel, that could be a yacht. I still don't know this toffee brand. Hmm. A ticket may be given for a high one, abbreviated. <laughs> Is that a high miles per hour? A speeding ticket, that's funny. Without accompaniment. Um. Hmm. Is this a musical term? I'm not sure if I'm going to know this. Man's name derived from the Bible. I'm going to guess that's Eli. Another man's name derived from the Bible. Hmm, is it gonna be Dan, like from Daniel? The dark side, yeah, that could be the yin to the light side's yang. All right, so, boy, I have no idea. Is it Almond Rona? And then this could be an Appella, like instead of Acapella? Hmm, yeah, it could be, I guess. Let's put in Dan. Um, I'm not sure about this N, but I think that's the most plausible guess, so let's put in that N and see if that'll do it for us for this lovely Valentine of a Sunday puzzle. Ooh, gee whiz, we have something wrong. Oh no. All right, let me see if I can track it down and I'll come back to you when I find it. Oh, hang on a second. Maybe this is just a cappella. Because when you're singing a cappella, you don't have musical accompaniment, right? And then this could be Almond Roca. Yeah. All right, let's try that C and see if that will do it for us. All right, a Sunday puzzle in 44 minutes. That's an excellent time for us. Yeah. This was a fun little Valentine's Day theme. Even though it wasn't very difficult, there was nothing super tricky about it. Um, I always love when they tie in themed puzzles to their corresponding holidays, so I can't help but be charmed by this one. And also, I like the punniness of the puzzle's title, Change of Heart. You're actually changing out the heart of each theme answer. And then when you do that properly, you end up getting a Valentine. Yeah, that was lovely. We definitely had this theme's number right off the bat though. Once we got that original V change of heart, we were off to the races. There was definitely some tricky cluing in this puzzle though. This first wordplay clue actually managed to tie us in a knot pretty effectively. Also, I loved these two misdirections in the lower half of the puzzle. Lire for Italian bread that's no longer made, and also enamel for canine coat. That's super clever, I love it. All right, well, thank you for being my Valentine on this smooth Sunday solve. I'm gonna be coming back at you tomorrow for the easiest puzzle of the week, the Monday, and I think that's gonna do it for now. All right, I'll see you next time.